my name is Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment channel. So everybody who watches my channel knows that I like to grow a bit of early veg and well fruit as well and so I thought I'd just do a quick whiz around the polytunnel and the allotment plot and show you what we've got just the stuff that's really early um, and stuff that we're harvesting now and we'll be harvesting in the next few weeks so let's take a look. So it seems natural to start in the polytunnel and I'm particularly pleased and I always am every year with the strawberries. I've just had a big handful of strawberries and uh, yeah they're really fantastic. It's just my favourite way <laughs> to start the day is to come in here and pick all the strawberries that ripened overnight and then I'm really happy with the runner beans loads of flowers coming on those now do a bit of early calabrese in the polytunnel as well which we harvest just as we you know just before we put the last of the peppers out i'm really pleased with those and these are the french beans and you can just maybe see the first flowers coming on those i'm really happy with that and the celery is really coming on we don't put a huge amount of celery in because we just harvest it as a cut and come again. The celery at the back is from the same batch as the celery at the front. It's just this was left in the modules until I had space. We've got another batch of celery at the other, other end. I'm really pleased with the courgettes as well. Um, we're picking one every other day. I picked one yesterday. This one will be ready tomorrow. And there's so many coming. But this plant's a bit of a giant so it'll be outside soon and this is another polytunnel beauty it should be climbing really now up its strings but uh, I'm going to protect it with some fleece on Sunday night and so I've taken the string climbing strings off but as you can see on here look absolutely stacks of flowers so this is a center cut squash it's a bit like a courgette but it's, uh, it, it's cli it'll climb right up into the roof of the polytunnel. This is the red ruble kale, sown direct in this little coal frame. It's doing beautifully, I love this. We have it in salads and smoothies. It's such a gorgeous colour. And if you like eating the rainbow, this is a great one to grow, red ruble. And our onions are just finishing in the store now. So we're switching to big spring onions and uh, soon we'll have these beauties. They're not far off now. I'm really excited to get my first Moorish two peas. So I should be eating those next week. They're absolutely covered. And we start these at the back of this coal frame in sort of February time and then we say when we eventually take the coal frame lid off they just uh, grow up this frame because so we don't want to forget the asparagus although strictly speaking this isn't really an early and the sweet corn's doing nicely in its uh, little protected coal frame slightly behind the stuff that's in the polytunnel but not so bad we want a succession anyway. And these are my early baking potatoes. And the key thing about these plants is that they're young. I've got plants like this at home, um, but they're a month, six weeks older than these plants. So these plants were uh, planted late and brought on very quickly so that uh, they're still young, vigorous plants all the way through May and June and then we harvest them in July, so hopefully baking potatoes in July. And these are my early sprout plants, grown for leaves in clumps. And the kale is all finished now. And so it's really lovely to have these amazing leaves in profusion. Sprout leaves are my favorite. I interplanted these with spring onions and so we've got loads and loads of lovely spring onions as well complement the sprouts of course we've still got all this beautiful perennial kale some more down there of course we've got the uh, 
spring cabbages and we've been harvesting some of these plants, the smaller ones, uh, for spring greens but uh, we've started to get some nice uh, cabbages now. I think we picked the first one of these last week. So uh, yeah, they're a really nice helpful stopgap until the uh, kales are ready again. And that'll be probably two weeks time. These are two of my four early carrot plants. I'm going to harvest some of them in a minute. I need to spray with garlic spray around them though to uh, confuse the carrot fly. Mm. Those are beauties. Pretty good size. And the broad beans are really coming on nicely. Not many weeks away now. Looking really good. The early potatoes, they've all finished now, so I've got those out of the polytunnel. They look a bit uninspiring, don't they, at the moment? But they harvest up nice. Yeah. Those will go really nicely with the carrots. So, hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.